I would like to because we are sometimes people who are more on devotion, bhakti path, or guru bhakti, or sometimes more on non duality. Uh, so I, I, this gathering is also to, to, to talk about both and to bring them together because Ishwar. Uh, was the first master of Saint Matt who brought for the, the notion of self and non-duality and uh, which is uh, for me very important because um, to, to say that you have to reach somewhere and to reach such con and so it's, there is a feeling you are not at the right place and you have to, to work hard and put effort which is right in a way but uh, Ishwa was saying that you You, you all is happening uh, from such con you are still sitting in such con dreaming all this dreaming to be away from from the self from god to be separate from god so ishwar puri was uh, the first to my knowledge uh, fakir chan another master was also going to that direction but uh, as i came from a path uh, before to be in saint mat in uh, 97 with Santa Karsing. Before that, I was in non-duality. Uh, I met, uh, uh, I heard about Ramana Marichi, I was in Turuvana Malai and, and some other places. So, uh, it, it brought to meet uh, with my first master of Santa Mat, Santa Karsing. It was mostly, uh, uh, to say, a dualistic approach and to reach God. We are separate from God and we have to reach some higher planes and like that. And, um, Uh, with Ishwar, so it brought back the balance between the, the two and he's talking about the self you, you are the self but you have lost awareness of that so f I like the balance of the two and if, so, if someone is um, too much maybe only on bhakti can be attached to this sense of separation to cultivate this bhakti and to not want to move away from that because at the end Uh, we the master says and Ishwa says that we are uh, the, the master is a projection outside and created for the safety the, the sake of of the path and to realize that the master was our own projection so if sometime some bhakta uh, or devotees seems to be stuck in this separation and don't want to to leave it that Even some some teachers like Papaji, for example, Punja from uh, from India, uh, was saying that some high, very high bhakta stay stuck in some very high planes of of uh, devotion, but they they have to come down because they, they, there is a kind of attachment to that sense of separation. So the other sound is uh, more. When we say you are that tatwam asi, or like Ishwar say you are the self, you are already that. You just lost awareness of this. So these two seems to be for me uh, two parts which can really much go together. And sometimes personally I feel more in bhakti. Sometimes I feel more in in uh, self knowledge or, or non duality. But uh, this inspired me um, because we are in, in, in lockdown here. So since one week I was reading some and with Sue we were reading few um, teachings of sense. Uh, some books from Saint Matt, from Radha Swami. So like Mira, uh, Guru Nanak, Namdev, etc. And to read the life of the saint, the biography is very uplifting. And you can really feel the nectar of love for God. So, and this so inspired me a poem this morning, which I will, before to do the meditation, I will read to you, uh, just to illustrate that. And, um, and after we'll do a meditation. Okay? Can you hear me still? Yes? The sound is working? Yes. That's very well. That's okay. Ah, there is a um, number of them, the Bhakta, uh, they, uh, known in India, including Kabir also, Guru Nanak. Bhakta? 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 De devotees, you know, so like uh, masters of... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, What's the last one, Guru Nanak, Mira? 
Namdev. 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 Is a saint from the 12th century. When I read it, I feel it's so full of nectar. It's really, yes. So, yes. So this is not contrary because I speak often about non-duality, but both are going together because the ultimate bhakti is for the self that you are. But first we go through the path of love with the master and uh, Sadhguru. Uh, but as Ishwar said, we ultimately realize that the Sadhguru is our own self. So I just repeat his words. Yes. So the little poem which was inspired is not really from me because it came from I don't know where. <laughs> But uh, I like it, so I, I will read it to you, and after we'll do a meditation. So, it's also, I posted on Facebook, you can see it's a post. So. The perfect, perfect fly. The egg started to crack, a small bird came out, and soon started to fly. It has two wings, left for love and devotion, and right for self-knowledge, for self-knowledge. Self Trying to find balance, he, he, he was turning from left to right and from right to left, losing balance again and again. Then, in a split second of a perfect balance, he realized, realized that he was not a bird, but the absolute perfect self dreaming to be a bird. From then on, he enjoyed dreaming to be a bird with his two wings, celebrating his infinite flight. So it's just illustrating what we I said before. So now we do a little different meditation, more on the left wing, which is more on path of love and like that and devotion. And uh, so we may experiment to move a little bit from left to right. We'll see what happens. I I don't really know, but we we'll, we'll see. Okay. So. For now, I mute uh, your phone during the meditation and I will open it again afterwards. I will invite you to open your, your microphone again. Yes. So, we are well here and now sitting aware of the room and we close our eyes And so we'll sit in, in the middle of our head, behind the eyes. And if we have a master, even if we have not been initiated by him, we can remember him, maybe some time we had with him, us. If we have not a master, we can remember, just have the feeling of love inside or remember someone we love very much. Just connected with this feeling of love. Maybe we have some talk or some, maybe some hug or some respect or anything to feel very much in presence of the master or the feeling of love. So our focus is on the Beloved.
And now we... We take our attention to... To the one... The lover, the one who is... Connecting with the... Connecting with the beloved. And we feel we are sitting in our head behind the third eye. So this, what is happening between the, the feeling of love between the beloved and the lover is happening on the field of awareness, like the screen. Of these scenes. Uh, anything is the movie happened by itself so anything is allowed we can even kiss our beloved we can embrace him we can hug him we can thank him we can say whatever we like we can say we are not happy with something And all this is happening in the field of our wide awareness. Now with this sense of love will kind of go deeper in our awareness and feeling that we are that self. which has created all this movie and stories with the beloved. And this experience of love emanated from our own self, which is pure love itself. So it's a love which is not dependent on a beloved, which is not depending on time and space. It's a love that nothing can touch. Even the hardest things in life that we have been experiencing, all the wounds, deep wounds, our heart. Nothing of all this can touch the love that we are. 
we just came for an experience to experience the high and low of duality the experience of love with other people family members and finally we met someone who can take us back through the experience of love but in the other way back home and finally the beloved is telling us that you have never left home that you are just dreaming you have been all the time it's a long long dream so to feel to taste the nectar of the self the nectar of the love nothing to do just being that now the connection if we have a master can come or not so it's like in the poem it's the bird now can fly right or left but this higher awareness of being the absolute self the absolute love has been recognized So the absolute bhakti is to be just to be what we are and to be what we are we have nothing to do because doing does not exist in being doing start from the the lower planes with the mind and time and space beyond that there is no doing only being so whatever happened now in our life in the world is not affecting what we are So sometimes the nectar of love can be there, sometimes not. The bliss can be there or not. So it's also part of the game to learn to not be attached to it. Whatever experience is there, I am always that absolute self. This love which does not need love. This absolute attention which does not need attention. So sometimes there is bliss, sometimes not, sometimes there is more difficult experience. Whatever comes, comes and will go. So now slowly uh, you invited to open your eyes and I open your mic. Welcome back. So you have to touch on your mic if you want to open, I think. Thank you. See you so it's a little new style. <laughs> Swinging on the left wing. So how Anyone to want to say something? I have a question I was thinking about. You yeah. have spent a lot of time in Tiruvannamalai. Uh, could you tell us how you came across Tiruvannamalai and your experiences there? Oh, so it was uh, first I went there in. Uh, 94 my first trip in india why how did it come to you to go there uh, there were 
I was going with my partner of the time and uh, there was uh, inspiration to change life because bef I was in a playing music in a band, uh, a rock music band. So I wanted to, something in me was feeling is not going, <laughs> it's not for me anymore, this lifetime. So something was calling for something. So I, I started to practice Tai Chi Chuan and meditation and then uh, this in 92 and then 94 first trip to India and uh, Tiru Vanamalai was one of my first place to visit uh, and uh, Ramana Ashram and when I opened a book of Ramana because of the blessings of uh, Arunachala uh, I opened the books and I it was so clear the, it speak about the self and then oh yes it was um, uh, what we call this ah moment, or there is um, it's very fluid, you know, it's clear. So that was, but uh, so it continued. I met some of the Orobindo and this, and some of the uh, uh, teachings, and another Swami, Swami Prajnampad from India, also Advaita and Tantra and. Uh, and uh, in '97, uh, I started. I was initiated in Saint Mat with Santa Karsin. Yes, like that. That who? Uh, my first master of uh, uh, light and sound meditation, Saint Mat, uh, Saint Takarsin. Three years later, I was initiated in Mexico with uh, Santa Karsin. Yes. Yes. And you are initiated with master also. With Ishwar also, yes. I received a second initiation in 2012 with Ishwar in uh, London, yes. Wow. Yes. So, and after, I, uh, in 97, I had the impulse to go back to, to Advaita, non-duality, and I met few teachers uh, in Rishikesh and in Tiruvannamalai. First in Rishikesh, so this was all in 97. And uh, so I met Muji, so it was nice to to meet him, uh, but after I was done with him, and then I met Ganga Mira, the ex-wife of uh, Papaji, in, and uh, in Rishikesh, it was very beautiful, then I went to see her in Portugal, then I met two other teachers in, in Tiruvannamalai. And uh, so all this was uh, non-duality teachers. But uh, recently, I I read a book. Uh, I'm still I discovered a, a book, Self Love, from Nisargadatta, and I I was very surprised to feel a lot of bhakti in it, yeah. and uh, is a rare uh, uh, non-duality teacher, Advaita, uh, or speaking so much about bhakti, and he was doing every day several puja. Yes, several. Right in the morning, he was yes. doing puja. Yes, I didn't know who, that. Who, who, who is it? Who is it? It's Nisargadatta from Mumbai. It's a, it's a Advaita. Maharaj, yeah. Yes, but he's a lot of bhakti also. So he's like, uh, he, he speaks about himself like a sad guru. So, yes. but, you know, sad guru, sad guru, there is. Ishwa talk about this difference, but it's a, question of planes and third plane is a sad guru fifth plane is sat guru but uh, this is some uh, other things yes but anyway and i feel i had a talk a um, few days ago with uh, an initiate also of uh, ishwa from uh, washington state and uh, we really is an old man but he have a long uh, also path on uh, several Masters and now recently was with Ishwar and he's on the same line as uh, as my in my understanding and uh, that you know now on, only bhakti people it feels like the non duality and awareness is also more needed people cannot be blindly in bhakti now because they have been so many abused in the past and this so people need something. Uh, grounded and uh, they can, they, it's more hard to be in blind faith, faith like in the older time. So people need to have. So if we speak, oh, you need to develop love and bhakti for the master. But at the same time, there is a reminder: 
you are already home, you are already that. So that touch now is coming more in this age, this is new age, and, and Ishwa was one of the first one to bring it. So and I, I that's why I also I do this little meeting together to to mink to bring this together and to clarify if it's needed and to, to keep in touch. Chiruvannamalai worked with Michael James? No. Who were your gurus in Chiruvannamalai? No guru. Okay. You no. said teachers. Yes, I, I just went to some talks, you know, uh, César Teruel and uh, Karl Renz, but I never considered them as my gurus or, uh, or teachers, even I, Ishwa stayed as my guru, I would say. But uh, it was in line with, it was not in conflict with, with Ishwa and the uh, teaching of Ishwa. It was more the right wings of the bird, the, the jnana or self-knowledge, non-duality. And uh, yes, it brought, and that other man uh, I talked with a few days ago from Washington State, uh, Ishwa advised him to, to see and go some non-duality teachers. So for some people it works and they need that or it's fitting for them. As Ishwa said, we have all some self uh, uh, customized path. You know, we we are not all the same. So, but uh, some people are still food in bhakti and it fits them and it's fine if, if it's good for them. Uh, but some people like me, I I, I both wings seems to 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 work beautifully and uh, from the life of the scent also i i feel yes this also perfume of nyana knowledge is also uh, more required now combined with bhakti where is ishwar now ishwar is in your head You know, yes. you know, Ishwa is a, your own self has created these pictures, this the a guru, and this guru has been telling you that you created it for the sake of coming back home. And there he's telling you, oh, it was just a manifestation on your higher self. So you are that higher self right now. You just lost awareness to be that. So Ishwa is a part of the process and as he told me it's all made up. So Ishwa like us, all these actors that we are, Ishwa is also an actor in this. So but yes, we don't need to oh I am the self and then I don't need uh, I forget about if I have a master we can play the game and uh, if we need it why not using you know we live in the material world so if we need food we eat food if we need uh, anything else we do it and uh, so if we need something at some higher level we use it so we use we use the tool in the dream so we can use meditation self introspection we can use uh, bhakti, the remembering the guru, the mantra, simran. We use whatever, even if we have that awareness to be the already now the absolute self. It doesn't prevent uh, this to be used, but it's more like a celebration. First, it's like with effort. You do things with practice and effort to reach somewhere, but at some point something shifts. And the more you see the ego, the eye as a phantom, the effort is more effort now is more like a non-effort. It's happening by itself. So it be, it's turned from effort and practice to celebration and non-effort and being enjoying to be that that mystery or, or the self God or whatever you like to call it. But we cannot force force thing to happen, so it happens by itself. The more you see I, the sense of doership as illusory, the more 
life is living itself by itself and become more a celebration. Is it heard by someone? What I say? But still I feel uh, where is. Still what? With, with, with his guru. C can you repeat, Nilima? I, uh, I just uh, want to know. Uh, he is uh, in the uh, eternal self with his great master. Because in his videos so much he talks about his master. Yeah, but f even great master is also part of it. Is uh, also an image created by the self to help us to regain our, the awareness of being God itself or the self. So we should not be attached too much to this, uh, to know where it is and this. Just keep this connection with the subtle form of your master inside and, and connect and feel that he, the body is not there, but the subtle body is there. So you can always talk to him and listen. Uh, if he talk to you or to the inner sound and uh, whatever, but don't be attached too much to the the appearance. So in one minute it will cut. So I propose to to when it cut we will click on the link. Okay. Yes. So and cultivate that missing. You know when you miss your master, it's a very important treasure so treasure it don't consider it as a problem but consider it as a gift from god this missing so i want to know so, so all of us so whoever are in this path uh, where we earlier in the same path in our previous births that we are reborn and then we are connected this way yes so uh, it will cut now, so I will reply in okay. after that, okay? Okay. Yes.